guys, so welcome back to my channel, and today I'm just going to do a real, um, like a get ready with me, and hopefully it comes out alright, because yesterday I did an oopsie, I put too much of my colored new, like, stay mat, <laughs> I'm so oily, I was like, oh, I'm just going to keep putting on, 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 and I mean, I was mad. But, I had no color, and it was like, even with my blush on, and then I thought I had too much, so I took off some of the blush, and then, just a hot mess, just a hot, hot mess. Um, I walked into Ulta to go get some things, and I looked like I didn't know how to do my makeup to save my life. Even though I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. At least to put on foundation. And I just put too much stay matte um, powder on. So I do have a couple new products that I will be starting to show and get ready with me. So this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I, you know, I have never used it. Um, my boyfriend's mom uses it. I saw it on a couple different videos. So I was like, oh, okay. I'll give it a shot. And I love full coverage. It's oil free. So it's pretty good. I don't know about you guys. But. I don't know. I had no idea. That. I don't know. Basically I took a photo with my boyfriend Savon yesterday to be goof. You know. Never take your boyfriend's phone and like. Or like your friend's phone and just take. Because you swipe left on an iPhone, even if it's locked or not, you know, and he's like, <laughs> like, take funny photos, because that's what I was doing. We were in, like, a store. <laughs> click, 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 click. And then I looked down at it, and I'm like, is that me? Ooh. Yeah. And I looked orange. Like, I looked... I didn't look orange, but I mean, I look like a shade darker than I was, like, supposed to be. And I was like, what did I do wrong? And then I realized I was, like, heavily putting on some stay mat and bad. Let's just be honest. It was bad. So then I also picked up the Tarte um, Shape Tape, which, oh my god, I'm surprised it took me this long, but guys count my videos, it's been two weeks, so I got paid. And I had a lot of overtime. I don't know if you guys, uh, I don't know if I talked about it, but I was working like 13 hour days. And I also got a promotion, so I was, I had a raise now. So... I was like, oh, so I paid off my bills, because this paycheck was rent and everything else. Rent, water bill. Our water bill goes for three months. So, water bill, uh, electricity bill, internet. We don't have TV. We just have the internet package, which is being increased, of course. Which, I'm not really a fan, because the internet's going up to 70 like $69 from 40 and the thing is, if you have TV, it's 80 So now my boyfriend's like, should we just get TV? And I was like, I literally don't watch TV. Um, we have the uh, direct TV, I think, the apps, from the online account. And, I mean, I use that. Like, right now I'm watching Dallas Housewives. <laughs> the Housewives of Dallas. And I, for some reason, think I used to watch it. Or something similar. I think it was The Real Housewives of Dallas. Because I remember the Connie little woman. Short hair. She had a daughter, I think. And she just appeared on this past episode with Heidi, which I think was also on there. I have no idea. I haven't watched TV in so long, but let's just say I wish, if you guys watch it, 
probably don't want to talk about. As far as, I wish I could party and have the bubbly personality like Brandy. I wish I had the body and, like, the appearance of Carrie. I wish I had the energy for, like, charity and organizing and planning as Leanne. We don't need to talk about Leanne, though. I feel like she's, like, wackadoo sometimes. But, like... Oh my god, I wish I had the husband and the money of Stephanie and Travis. Ugh, but I think Brian is cuter. But he needs to be emotionally available for his wife. Let's just say. It shouldn't have to be her her younger brother, who's a soldier, who has PTSD, but tries to commit suicide for him to be like, Oh my god, I should actually be here for my wife. <laughs> like, excuse me, sir. You should have been here a long time ago. If you guys watch it, you'll understand. That's probably one of, like, the only... Oh, I guess I watch OC as well. Housewives of OC. Yeah, I do. I got a couple new products because I went shopping at Ulta. Um, <sighs> but, yeah, no, like, that's, like, the first season. Um, I'm literally just, like, watching the entire first season. Hmm. That's kind of odd. So I got a new lightweight matte powder. This is the Ulta brand. Frankly, I like all of the Ulta brand products. I haven't had an issue. Um, and clearly yesterday I realized color ones just don't work for me. To be honest. Um, I think it just made me a little too dark. And I mean, I blended well. I just didn't, with the powder, I just didn't get it to where it needed to be. No, but the other two roommates were supposed to also chip in for this water bill. They didn't. And of course they're not going to. They're not adults. They're not mature. Especially one of them. And so my boyfriend and I had to split the almost $200 bill. Because it goes for three months. See, now I feel like I have no color. But I also feel like I don't look like I'm dead because my eye, under eye, panda eyes are covered. They all look like I look I don't know. Now my translucent powder, like my matte finishing powder tray is full. <sighs> so, I don't know. Oh yeah, yesterday I also like curled my eyelashes. It worked. But I feel like it wasn't voluptuous like I was expecting it to be. If that makes sense. But I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz. Okay, so I have it in dark brown. Um, I think, yeah, the tester was in chocolate. I walked in there and I was like, my sample broke. I need a full one. This is like 20 something dollars. And at some point, my boyfriend's going to do my makeup. And the reason why I say that is because when you're there, he's like, oh my God, this is so much. What do you use all this stuff for? And I was like, well, you should do my makeup one day and find out. And he goes, no, I don't think I should. And I was like, mm, I think you should. So I think actually at some point, I was going to have him do it Saturday, yesterday. But we decided to, like, go out and do fun stuff. Like, go shopping. And we went to a different town to go shopping. And it was like... I mean, it's a 37 mile, like half hour trip, and it's even not even that bad. Like, we enjoyed it. And, um, so we did that. We went to dinner. All in all, it wasn't even that expensive of a trip for him, but I went to Ulta. So, y'all know it wasn't cheap. I guess, inexpensive. 
but you know, I think it's pretty funny. We enjoy, I don't know, we, we enjoy going out, being out together. We joke a lot, like, oh my god, just being funny, being goofy, cracking jokes, because we really enjoy it. Which I think we're in a relationship, so I would assume so. But I guess, like, I'm always thinking, I have really bad anxiety about relationships, I guess. Um, and I think he sort of does as well, simply because um, he was engaged once, and that ended badly. To be honest, like, it did. So, but it's not my business to tell you why. But it ended badly, and so I know it took us, like, six months before we were officially dating and that was a year ago so I think I don't know I think I said so this is the Catrice I was looking for a good blush I was looking at um physician's formula oh I think I got my lip here I was looking at a bunch of different type of blushes and I still just ended up going back to Catrice to get do you see that? It's like a peachy. I wanted a peachy color. I looked at the Ulta brand. I looked over at Urban Decay. I looked at like all of the other ones and I was just like, I want, I like the little ones because I don't, I want like a little bit of everything. Not like this big, you know, I don't do makeup professionally and I, I do do it every day. I just don't need that much product. Um, and so I was a real big fan that I was able to find this. And it's like a peachy color. And I like when it's a peachy color. So I'm just going to put the blush on. Oh, and you guys, like, I'm pretty sure you knew exactly what products I used. I used the Shape Tape, I used the Clinique, I just used my blending brush, and I used the Ulta Beauty uh, setting spray, setting powder. And I used my Catrice Prime and Fine, which I've used before. Okay, I know this probably not going to look like I have anything on my face, but I am a fan. I feel like it gives me like a natural looking blush. What would I like to do now? What do I want to do? Oh, yesterday I also did a dark eye. Like, I literally went so outside of my comfort zone with my eye makeup yesterday. And I was quite surprised. I did like a bright lid and then I just did dark. Like I did like highlight of just nice and bright and I did a really dark, dark lid. And I even did eyeliner. I don't do eyeliner because guess what? It was a pain in the neck. I literally like, I like it, but I don't like it. I feel like I can't get it with this eyeliner name. If I could just match it, like, you know, like, they have the tape and then you can, like, form it. I feel like if they just made tape eyeliner where you just, like, inputted, like, tape, black line, it'd be so much better. So, this is the Blushed Nudes by Maybelline. I don't know what shades I'm going to do. Haven't decided yet. I'm probably just going to wear this gray shirt and some cute pants like I did. Um, yesterday I wore this shirt with black skinny jeans and my white um, wedged heels. And then I wore like a black cami, like a little, like a black sweater over it. Because I get freezing cold. And I got, we both got freezing cold in the restaurant. It was freezing. Like, he's usually warm and he's like, oh, it's so hot in here. And next thing you know, he's like, oh. It's cold, and I was like, oh, somebody's actually cold? I don't know. But what are you guys up to? I seriously, like, I don't know. 
I feel like I want to know what all y'all are doing because it's the summer and I feel like I'm like out of the loop because now that I'm like working full time, I am way out of the loop. Okay, so I just went with Uh, oh, it's like a sparkly. This is the thing, like, these aren't named. I feel bad, like, they don't. They don't name them. Because I feel like they're really pretty colors. Like, they're very pretty. Like, after this, I think I'm just going to, like, go back to watch the Housewives episode, and then I'll come back and, like, film my haul video. Because, like, I already cleaned. I took care of my guinea pigs already. I am just ready to not. Oh, see, then they have some pressed, and then this one is a bake. Like, I've seen other YouTubers like these because there's several different palettes and the, like, the actual quality of the palette is really nice. Like, some of them are baked, like the two darker with more sparkles, like a good dark tint. They are, like, a baked, and then there's, like, powders that are pressed, and it's really, really nice. To be honest, like, I'm a fan. I'm like a total fan. Now the lighting's gonna go terrible. Back into the sun. So it's like a really pretty day. Oh, this past week. Okay, so my boyfriend ended up having to work till like 7 o'clock. And not like 4.30 or 5. So I actually stayed at work. Worked out. Found some new pair of shoes too. When I went shopping. And it was really nice. I don't want just two shades. Okay, I like the two shade look. Frankly, I feel like it's like more of those like chillax looks. That doesn't look like you're overdoing it. It doesn't look like you're trying to go party. I don't know. I feel like it looks nice. And then, because if you put the crease right, it looks like you have three shades. And it's like this build upon. That's what I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to find out what color to put on my crease. Because I really don't know. I should have put that on my crease and then do like a pink. But I guess I'm going with gray. going with a gray. Gray's working out real well. I'm a fan. Oh my god, the boys of Gray's Anatomy, like, played baseball. Yeah, I saw that. I thought that was super cute. I love Gray's Anatomy. Alright, I guess I'm going with the fourth color. Okay. Ooh, doggy. That is a black. Like. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my god. No. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It just looks like I got punched in the face. It's like too much. I can't. I really can't. Oh my god. <sighs> I usually don't do dark shades, like, ever. So 
so I think that's what's like throwing me off. Like it looks fine. I think. So I'm gonna go in with a, another shade and do a line. Before I do my mascara. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'm not doing much today. So I really guess it's not any. Transition to blend that out. Should I close my eyes? I really don't look like I actually got physically punched in the face. I like how I got like this dark gray going, and then I've got like pink. Like I have big eyes, but my eyelids are quite small. Like it's weird. Is that weird to be like? Got big eyes, but my eyelids don't seem to be a kind shade. I should be going in with this brush and doing that. Okay, that's better. Okay. Fixed that, I think. I look like I'm going to a party, to be honest. I would wear this to, like, a college party. Like a nice, dark eyelid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this doesn't look like it's going to meet Grandma for lunch. <laughs> This looks like, oh my god, where is she going tonight? <laughs> okay, so this is the Twisted Volume Maximizer from Ulta. Personally, I'm loving this mascara. Um, I think that it does really great with everything. You guys get to see me on video do this. And I feel like it doesn't do anything. Like. Because I, like. Even if I did the primer yesterday. See, it seriously only did, like, half of that. But it's fine. I didn't spend much money on it. And, I, and I've been told that the more expensive of an eyelash curler you use, the better. But. You also have to understand, I only make so much an hour. And I can do pretty well with shaping my eyebrows and eyelashes to look really nice. I always say eyebrows when I mean eyelashes. So you see the difference? <laughs> now they're really dark. And this is, I believe, this is the black brown. It's never brown black. It's always black and brown. I was like, can we please have a dominant shade? of more brown with some black undertone. They don't like me. They don't agree with me. I don't know. Maybe I should submit feedback on that. Like at work. Yeah. I have like, I used to have like not very long eyelashes and then I started doing um, the hair, skin, and nails. It worked. To be honest, it works. Like, my nails had never been that long that quickly. And they were very strong. They didn't break. I literally chopped them off because I typed all day at work. And it literally, I couldn't get to the keys. You're getting my personality. Like, I'm a goofball. And I love it. So now I'm just trying to get, see like these ones come out really long. 
But did you guys know that, like, your body isn't even? Like, one side, like, does not match the other? Like, you just do a split. So I know that my right eye, it's not a droopy eye, but my right eye eyelid is just down, like, a legit millimeter or two down farther than my left eye. And then one of my breasts is bigger than the other, which I think a lot of women have, personally. Because naturally, it's it makes sense. I mean, not like a big difference, but you can definitely tell. My boyfriend noticed, too. He's, like, looking really hard one day, and he's just like, I look over at him, and he's like, what? I was like, what? You, what? He goes, did you know that, like, one of your boobs is smaller than the other? And I was like, Yeah. He legit didn't think I knew. <laughs> Which I think is kind of funny because I honestly don't really even notice. Because to I'm just going to stop with that. I honestly don't even really notice. And he's just like, how do you not know? I'm like, because I don't look at my boobs in the mirror all the time. Like, I mean, I feel them up when I'm taking a shower, you know? Like, I got to clean them. But I don't really just like boobs you know like I'm not I'm not sexually attracted to boobs so you guys see how quirky I am my hair is just up in a messy bun like my hair is totally clean and like would look fine down but it's kind of hot but it's like a cool little bit like in here right now but outside it was like I took out the trash and I was like no I can't do this it's too hot even though it's really not hot at all okay so I got this really cool palette I talked about in my favorites. It's an ombre palette. I'm just using a highlighter here. I'm just going to put in some highlight. But, oh my god, I seriously like, it's a little dark today. I did. I also have new brushes. I'll talk about that in my haul video. I got some new brushes. I mean, not that I needed any, but I was at a store and they were on sale and I kind of just, I just had to have them. So it's like what every beauty obsessed woman says. I also, okay, yesterday was National Lipstick Day. I'll talk about this in my haul video, but I got four, like, lipsticks and I hope and pretty good none of them are Clinique <gasps> sorry I'm not spending $20 on lipsticks that I already have and I literally couldn't remember what shades I had so I tried to stay away from Clinique I knew I had pinks I knew I had a dark I have one orange from Bare Minerals I have a, two orange lip glosses but they're different shades and one has sparkle and then I had um I think I have, yeah, I have a red, I have one pink, and I have an orangey mauve, um, and I have a really bright pink. I like, throw this out there real quick, I like when there is a color, like when there's the actual color of the lipstick, not the green ones. I get confused. Like, I literally, it makes me not want to use them, because I can't tell what color they are. So, I got... Some new lipstick and there was more than I wanted but all of them okay this is my PSA P yes PSA do not swatch a great like a one for sale swatch the testers I seriously I was getting so irritated I was like because Maybelline sometimes they only have two on the stack some of the Maybellines and then the Revlons they have six there in the stack. These Maybellines that I wanted, the ones that are nice and hydrating, they seriously only had two. And I asked. And they didn't have any more because that's what they get. And there was more on order. And I was like, I'm not waiting. And I'm sick and tired of having to purchase stuff online. And so I basically, I got so irritated with them. Like, I'm seriously, like, I'm pulling them out and I'm trying to find ones that look. 
Perfect. And then the testers were good, but people kept using the ones that were for sale. I was like, how do I know you didn't put your lips on there? How do I know you just swatched it on your hand? But then your hand and your nastiness is on my lips. My boyfriend was like, what are you talking about? And I showed him, he goes, ew. I was like, yeah, it's nasty. Okay, so this is the nude and the city. Hey, if anyone likes sex in the city, this is really cute. I get this one. And these are the moisture renews. And I had saw a video about how great these were. And I used one. I right away when we got in the car, I put on um the pink wink, I think. No, I put on this one. The burgundy blush matte. Oh. I was able to drink out of my glass and my straw didn't have anything on it. Oh. It was so nice. Mm. These smell good. They feel good. I'm so pale, this is supposed to be a nude. But this actually gives me color. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. My eyelashes are on point. See? I think they look pretty good. So, yeah, I don't know. Those are just a couple little things I had to rant about. You know, like... Use the tester. Watch the Dallas Housewives. Don't use too much colored stay matte. Get yourself a good concealer. Get yourself some different colored blushes. And sometimes mistakes on eyes go really good. Alright, that was it for this Get Ready With Me. If you do want to have a little combo, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon.